All right, uh, let's look at the homework 14.6, uh, problem number two. All right, so let's do this problem. All right, so we have this uh, function f of uh, x comma y, and we want to find the gradient. All right, so uh, we have to take the partial with respect to x first. So the, uh, the gradient, uh, actually, I'm going to just uh, directly right here. So uh, derivative of sine is cosine. And then you have uh, leave the inside as it is, All right? Then multiply by derivative of inside with respect to x, so it's going to be three. So I'll just put three outside, All right? Then partial of this guy with respect to y is very similar, so it's going to be derivative of sine is cosine, and leave the inside function as it is. And the partial of inside function with respect to y would be 4. All right, so we have that. All right, so let's uh, type it in first. All right, so we have gradient is going to be, all right, so that was a 3 cosine of uh, 3x plus 4y, and comma, 4 times cosine of, uh, 3x plus 4y. All right, then uh, we have that. All right, so let's check the answer. All right, submit so for testing. All right, I came back and looks like we got the gradient correctly. All right, so let's do part B. All right, so we want to evaluate this gradient at the point P. All right, so this is going to be, all right, so if you plug in uh, negative 8 for x, so it's going to be uh, negative 24, and uh, 6 uh, for y, so 4 times 6 is a positive 24. So 3x plus 4y is going to be actually 0. So cosine of 0 is 1, so you have a 3 times 1, so 3, and a 4 times 1, so it's 4. All right, so it's a 3 comma 4, All right? So let's type it in. All right, we got the um, uh, 3 comma 4. All right, uh, since it's a vector, so I'm going to have to put the in the vector notation. All right, so again, uh, I'll check the answer. All right, it came back and looks like uh, we got the part B correctly. All right, so let's look at part C. All right, part C, we want to find the directional derivative, and the u is actually there, and this is already in the unit length. Uh, unit length. So uh, all we have to do is we just have to take a uh, uh, gradient, which is 3 comma 4, and then take the dot product with 1 half, and then you have, let's see, the first component is a square root of 3, and the second component is negative 1, right? So if you carry that out, uh, so 1 half, I'll just uh, put it outside. And you have a 3 times square root of 3, so 3 square root of 3, plus, but you have a negative 4, so minus 4. All right? So uh, let's type it in. All right, so we got the uh, 1 half. And then uh, you have uh, 3 square root of 3 uh, minus 4. All right, so let's check the answer. All right, I came back and looks like we got part C correctly as well. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.